that the crime heroine has a lot more help than uh, my show did. I was uh, it, you know, and I had three men. Uh, Earl Holloman was my sidekick and partner, and then we had um, uh, Ed Bernard and Pete. Uh, no, that Pete was his name in the show. Uh, Charlie Deercock, just the four of us. And so um, they, uh, the, most of the shows now have a, a bigger cast. Law enforcement women that I've met have all been extraordinary women, very bright. Um, but also, you know, they the, have those tender moments. So I think that that's the first thing. Um, very bright and very determined. How would you say the, the crime drama heroine has changed over the years, you know, from now till back in the policewoman days? Well, I, I definitely think that they've been given more um, authoritative um, uh, scripts and um, they've advanced in a way that, you know, women are running precincts, women are running, you know, the Emmy's office and um, so yeah, it's changed quite a bit. Uh, and you know, there's still, there's still room for growth, but I think there have been more women in, in positions of authority recently than, uh, than it was in, certainly in the past. What qualities do you think a compelling crime drama heroine needs to possess? Um, strength, intelligence, um, fearlessness. You know, I think above all, it's like a passion for their work and a, an intense kind of drive and ambition. But also, I think it's always been really important for those shows that there's a sense of humor and something that's a little bit kind of down to earth about them that they can kind of get get their hands dirty. How would you say crime drama heroines are different now than they were maybe back in the policewoman days? You know what's funny, when I was watching episodes of Policewoman very recently, I was really struck by how contemporary her portrayal felt to me, which was pretty amazing. I mean, there of course are elements of the show that are so dated and everything, but I was actually, I was really amazed and it made me really realize that the opportunities have just been getting more and more for women to kind of play those kinds of roles. But once given that chance, you know, in the 70s, it felt so contemporary to me what she was able to bring to that role. How would you say the, the crime drama heroine has changed since back in the policewoman days? Well, in a couple of ways, I think. I think that now we take it for granted that um, powerful women and women in positions of power are um, the norm. Um, even though we live in a, still live in a man's world, um, but in what Angie Dickinson did, you know, she really broke the mold of having a, a powerful woman in a really, really in a man's world. The other thing is, I think that, you know, with the earlier characters, the women were quite heroic, uh, and more and more with, you know, looking at something like Cagney and Lacey, you know, ten or fifteen years later, whenever that was, you know, the the, the you started to see women having, having more flaws or more, um, you know, more wrinkles in their lives and more troubles and more struggling with reality. And now I think that's taken, you know, and what we're doing in, in, in drama is trying to get really real with it. Um, and we can still really admire somebody without putting them on a pedestal or glamorizing them. You know.